Hi everyone. I was bored and I was browsing Conservapedia, which is one of my favourite websites because it just makes me laugh all the time. It makes me cry sometimes with just the utter ridiculousness of some of the articles and claims, but mostly laugh because, you know, it's ridiculous. Now, I was particularly interested in the Atheism page, which provides one with pages and pages of glorious reading in which one can educate themselves on the views of conservative right-wing nutters regarding what atheists do, who they are, and uh, what they represent. I'd like to bring to your attention a particular paragraph that I found in there. Um, apparently a study, obviously a very well-conducted and non-biased study, has found that uh, atheists or agnostics in America were more likely than theists in America to look upon the following behaviours as morally acceptable. Now I'm going to go through each of these behaviours and discuss a little about whether they are morally acceptable or not from, you know, a rational person's point of view. The first behaviour that is listed here, that is considered uh, morally unacceptable, is illegal drug use. Now, I don't know when ingesting substances into your body to alter the chemical state of your brain became a moral issue or not. Sure, I don't agree with it. I don't really want to be putting poisonous substances into my veins or brain. But since when has it become a moral issue? It is a personal choice uh, whether one wants to ingest these chemicals or not. Is it morally wrong to ingest saturated fats or sugar? They alter your brain chemistry. No, that's not morally wrong, obviously, because a lot of fat religious people do it, along with a lot of fat atheists. So I don't think illegal drug use is necessarily a moral issue that only atheists engage in. Next up comes the really juicy ones. Uh, the next problems or morally unacceptable behaviours that are listed by Conservopedia that atheists engage in a lot include sexual relationships out of marriage, cohabitating with someone of opposite sex outside of marriage, <gasps> obscene sexual behaviour, homosexuality and pornography. Oh my dear lord, how unacceptable. Okay. Fair enough, I can agree with sexual relationships outside of marriage being somewhat morally unacceptable. Unless, of course, you have an open marriage or an open relationship in which that is fine. I completely agree that this may be a moral issue or uh, socially unacceptable. So yeah, I'll fold to that. But that doesn't necessarily mean that atheists engage in this behaviour more so than people who are religious. Um, the other ones? Just ridiculous. Cohabitating with someone of opposite sex outside of marriage, oh my gosh, that is ridiculous. Is, so are you supposed to not flat with or move in with someone of the opposite sex because it might lead to morally unacceptable behaviour? This is just ridiculous. I mean, I've covered how completely homophobic and horrible most religions are to uh, gay and lesbians. But... To say that engaging in homosexual behaviour is morally unacceptable, that just sickens me. I'm happy that atheists do that, really, because it just shows that we couldn't care less about who you love as long as you're not hurting anyone else, which I think should be the philosophy that many people take on, because really, how are two men or two women in love affecting your life, seriously? Another morally unacceptable behaviour that I'd like to point out is pornography. There is a large um, lie circulating around lately, or here in Australia anyway, that uh, pornography leads to uh, aggressiveness and sexual predators and all that kind of stuff. Um, we had aggression and sexual predators way before pornography was even introduced. Way before there were naked stick paintings on the walls of caves, okay? Pornography does not lead to that. It is not cause and effect. It is not correlation implies causation. Sure, there may be a link between impressionable men and uh, the type of porn that they watch, but really, it's not an issue. It's not a morally unacceptable issue. 
religion has made it a scary taboo subject in which no one is allowed to talk about and atheists are simply enjoying their freedom of being able to watch, listen, read, whatever they want. Now that we've covered these horribly unacceptable moral behaviours, um, I scrolled down a little bit. Um, I'll include the link in the description as to where I got all this uh, very high quality information from. I scrolled down to reasons for becoming an atheist or uh, joining the atheist movement. Now, these just actually made me laugh. Um, because if you just replace the word atheism with Christianity in the reasons for joining atheism, uh, it will probably make just as much sense. Um, the Conservapedia page lists reasons for turning to atheism as gullibility, brainwashing, and irrational thinking. Now, something about pots and kettles and black? So, I encourage you all to head on over to Conservapedia if you want a good laugh or if you just genuinely want to be sickened by the human race or lose faith in the human race, um, seeing as though this is one of the most popular right-wing fundamentalist uh, conservative sites on the internet. It entertained me highly and um, I would highly recommend that you go and read some of the um, articles. There's some brilliant ones on there like links between atheism and obesity and pictures of PZ Myers drinking a beer and being all fat and uh, lots of lovely stuff. Oh and of course all the pro Sarah Palin and uh, pro this and pro that and all this kind of uh, really ridiculous stuff that is highly amusing to us of course. But um, yeah, I highly recommend it. So um, check it out, guys, and I will catch you later.